Okay, so in today's vlog, we are going to talk about weekends and why weekends are so looked out for. Why do people wait for weekends so much? And when I think about it, I see that the reason is that people are in general not living their best lives or not living the life that makes them happy. So what they do is they just log hard for five days and then for two days they want a break, they need a break because they, are, they don't like the, their life in the first five days. So they just want to live their life on the last two days of the week, that is the Saturday and Sunday. That's what we call the weekend. Uh, but can't we live lives in a way that all the days are the same, that you do not live a life that you need a break from, you know, that means that you're doing things on an everyday basis which you love doing and you're not doing anything for the sake of it and when you do that nothing feels like work everything feels like joy and uh, then you do not need a break from it because you enjoy it and then all your days can be the same you can probably go out on a tuesday evening and have fun with your family and then maybe on saturday if you want to go out again you can again go out you know it, it's not like the weekends are only, are the only time that you have fun. You can have fun on the weekdays as well. Uh, and to be able to achieve this, we will need to restructure how the work functions. So firstly, we will need to allow everyone to work from their own places. That is remote work. And when we allow everyone to work from their own places, that adds at least a couple of hours to their day, right? Which they can use in their own way. Uh, that those couple of hours they would others otherwise spend commuting to the office. So now that they're able to work from home or anywhere, they can simply save that time and spend that time somewhere else, maybe going out with their family or, uh, or doing something else, maybe meditating uh, or going to the gym or something like that. So those hours can be very crucial. You can use them for your own benefit, uh, but we need to restructure work like that. And the old way of working wherein uh, you came to the office five days a week and then you you had an off for two days and then again you got back to the office that doesn't really work anymore with the coming of the internet you can simply for most jobs it's not possible for all jobs to function that way but for most jobs it's possible to work from home to allow work from home but still many companies don't for some reason it's very weird because it's very harmful for everyone it, it's costly for everyone it's co costly for the employee cost employee two hours of their day for the commute and besides that the energy it takes to commute right that is also getting wasted then coming to the office perspective the office costs uh, a lot of money to the company so you have to pay rent of the op office or you have it on lease or you buy the office so you know it costs money to buy a place where all your employees can come to and work from so if you can simply allow everyone to work from home you do not need an office space and that will save you money Besides, your employees are more productive at home. So that will be good for the company as well. Uh, coming to the environment also, the environment is much better and there is much less traffic when people are working from home. As we saw in the lockdown, that a lot of the companies were operating, but all the employees were working from home. So if that model, model can work in the lockdown, it can work even without the lockdown as well. Why don't you just allow your employees to work from home? There will be much less traffic on the roads and our environment would, would be much better. Uh, and that is something that we really need because we are breathing that air and we need our roads to be emptier so that it feels good to go out, right? So this is the only way to allow your employees to live their best lives on every day, even on the work days, they can live their best lives. You know, It's not like they will need to work five days and then live their life at two days. That's not how your employees should be living their lives. They should be living their life on every day of the week, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, all days are for living life. So try to get yourself a life wherein you can live life that you're happy with every day of the week, not just two days of the week, but every day, because your life is too short to be wasting your time doing something that you do not like and working on something that feels like work. Okay. So find something that you feel that you enjoy doing and that doesn't feel like work and that gives you the freedom and trust to work on your own schedule so that you can really live your life in all days and not just two days of the week because that's the way to go so try to get into a company that allows you this freedom to make your own schedule and judge your performance on the basis of the output and not the hours worked 
and that way you'll be able to live your life on all days and not just two days so i do not like the idea of weekend so much for this very reason that we are looking forward to just two days of a week of seven days to live our lives while we can simply live our lives all seven days a week just if the companies allow you freedom and flexibility to do that it's very much possible and it's beneficial for everyone i hope people start thinking this way thanks so much this is what i wanted to convey in this vlog i hope you like it